So I recently had a question where someone asked me if it was possible to make the face animate. Okay, so that didn't entirely go the way I expected it to. But the face is animating as I talk. <laughs> it's not really recognizing the very, very best, but I'm sure there's more I could do. Right now, the key thing is that while I'm talking, he's talking. And when I stop, he stops. Okay, so enough of watching me talk to my screen, talking back to me. I'm going to switch over and show you how this is done. Whoop, not to that screen. So what I've done is in Construct, I've set it up so that you have a user media object. You can get to that by insert new object and user media. And you can see that gets added here in Construct 2 under the object types. I've also added two text boxes. One I've labeled interim speech text and one I've labeled final speech text. I've also added a face. Um, and this is just a sprite with two different animations. I've got the default animation, which is just him not doing anything. And I've got a talking, which is just two frames of him flapping his jaws which is kind of like me, flapping my jaws constantly. So, with all of that in place, the code is actually pretty simple. I'm going to go on the event sheet, and you can see I've got this. Let's boost it up a little bit here. I've got a global text variable called last speech. You can add those by right-clicking and adding global variable. Then I named it last speech and switched its type to text. Um, I've also got one for whether or not listening has started, and you'll see where I use that later. I added an event for system on the start of layout. For user media, request microphone source zero and route to audio tag mic. Now this is just to get permissions to record speech in the browser. Um, let's scroll this out a little bit. Here we've also got user media. When the media request has been approved, so if they say yes to it, I'm going to request speech recognition. Um, I'm using language English, but obviously you can use whatever your native language is. Uh, I put it into single phrase mode because on continuous, it kept building up and building up and building up until it stopped working, basically. So I request the speech recognition for a single phrase with interim results. Then on system, when the user media interim transcript is not equal to nothing. So whenever the user media interim transcript has something in it, I set the face animation to talking. I set the interim speech text to whatever it is it's recognizing. And I set the system listening started to one. And I continuously set that last speech variable that I set up to whatever the interim transcript is. I didn't use the final transcript um, just because there was a little bit of um, weirdness of the, la of the final transcript building up again over the continuous, but this last speech transcript is probably not entirely necessary. Next, you can see I put else if the listening has started. I set the animation to default, which means once you, um, so that means Else, if there is something in the transcript and listening has started, or sorry, if the interim transcript returns back to nothing and you have started listening. So basically, this is fired. Once the interim transcript has finished listening, it automatically clears it. So I say, when, you audit, when the interim transcript is automatically cleared, then the face can go back to not talking. Um, I set the final text speech to whatever that last speech was from above. I set listening started back to zero so that this isn't continuously fired. And then I re request speech recognition for a single phrase again. And basically this just puts the uh, system back into a listening mode. So you can see here, um, so right now it's not really doing anything. 
but as soon as I start talking, you can see that that interim speech recognition sets itself to one and it starts building up. Right there, it cleared the interim speech. And you see if I pause for too long, it will clear it automatically. Basically, this acts as an animation tool, and you can do whatever you want with the text that you get out of it. So yeah, that's a basic rundown of how you can animate a face using the construct built-in um, speech recognition. Thanks for joining me, and uh, yeah, keep asking questions.